Hello, uh, my name is Colleen and this is Kisby. She's a 12 and a half year old boxer and she's a retired St. John's Ambulance Therapy Dog. And the book we chose today is called Three Easy Steps to Getting a Dog. And I chose this book to read to Kisby and you because Thinking about, I was thinking back to when we got Kisby and what a commitment it is um, to get a dog. So during this time of COVID-19, we, I know people are adopting dogs and fostering dogs. And it's really important that we put a lot of attention to this long-term commitment for the most part that we're making. So yeah, thinking back about Kisby as a puppy in the house and and all the challenges we had and so forth we had to make sure our choice of of bringing kids be home with us was right for us and right for her so for everybody's mental health so anyways that's why we chose the book today and i'd like to give a big shout out thank you to scholastic canada for allowing us to read the book um yeah because reading aloud can be really meaningful in a way to connect a way for me to connect with kids be right Casey and with you as the audience okay so let's get started let's see maybe Kizzy wants a cookie you want a cookie okay she wants a cookie so three easy steps to getting a dog by Melanie Joy and illustrations by Chum McLeod hi I'm Quentin I love dogs and I really want one I need to convince my mom and dad to buy me a dog I've thought of asking them, but when I asked for a dirt bike, they said, we'll think about it. Then that's all they did. Think, think, think. I'm still waiting for them to stop thinking. This time, I'm taking a new approach. I won't ask. I'll do their thinking for them. I'm going to gather information, make an argument, and convince them that having a dog is a great idea. Step one. Gather the information you need to make your argument. My goal is to investigate how my family feels about pets. So I've designed a survey. I didn't want mom and dad to know that I'm warming them up to the idea of getting a dog. I'll just tell them that I'm doing a survey. So here's my survey about family and pets. They ask questions like, do you have any allergies? Would you ever want a pet? And which one of these would you want as a pet if you absolutely had to choose? Like a dog, a cat, or an elephant? <laughs> oh. So let's see what choices should I give besides a dog. I know, cat. My sister is allergic to cats. Nobody will pick cat. And an elephant. Nobody's even allowed to keep an elephant as a pet in the city limits. Who would want to clean up after an elephant anyways? I clean up after Kisby all the time, and that's enough. Wow, that was easy. Here's the answers. It looks like most of my family wants a pet, even dad. But I see that I have one major problem. Want another cookie? Cookie solve problems. Mom. Step two, identify counter arguments. Why wouldn't mom want a pet? A pet would be so much fun to walk or wrestle or play catch with. Kisby loves, loves, loves to play frisbee. We do that quite a bit. Why wouldn't anyone want one? Why, why, why? Right, Kisby? <laughs> How can I win mom over to my way of thinking? I have to figure out what she doesn't like about pets. So I write, dearest mom. I noticed from the survey that you check no to wanting a pet. What is your reason? And then he gave a couple of questions, a couple of answers, possible responses, like pet smell, pets two things, pets are too much work, or all of the above. And pets do smell, sometimes if you don't give them a bath. And I know Kisby, she likes to chew things. And he put signed your loving son, Quentin. P.S. Take your time, use the back for comments. Within minutes, I have her reply. What? She hasn't checked anything. It just says, 
please read my note on the other side. I hold my breath, turn the paper over, and read, Dearest son, who would take care of a dog? Love, mom. P.S. Have you cleaned your room today? Dogs are a lot of work. After reading mom's note, I'm pretty sure I understand my problem much better. Looks like I'll need another survey. Looks like Kisby needs another cookie. Good girl. Step three, address the counter arguments. I get right to work and design my next survey. I know that if this step works, I'm sure to get a dog. Question, who will take care of a dog? I can walk a dog. Maybe my brother can bath the dog. My sister can feed the dog. Oh, wait, I'll play with the dog. I place this survey into a pink envelope. That's dad's idea. I spray perfume on it. That's dad's idea too. I think dad wants a dog. <laughs> I place it on mom's pillow with chocolate beside it. That's my idea. I'm sitting in my room, waiting and hoping. My fingers are crossed. My legs are crossed. My arms are crossed. I feel like a pretzel. Kizby's gonna cross her paws too for that dog. Suddenly, oh, cookie. Suddenly, an envelope slides under my door. I pick it up. It's addressed to me. I open it and read, Dearest son, thank you for your note. If dad will walk the dog, and your brother will bathe the dog, and your sister will feed the dog, well, let's get a dog. Love, mom. P.S. You can check my name under I will play with the dog. Kisby and I play a lot. Conclusion, here we are in the pet shelter. I see the dog I want and I run to it and give it a hug. Then I look around, oh no, everyone in the family is running to a different dog. What am I going to do? Here we go again, I know. Another survey. Step one, I'm gonna gather information. What kind of dog is right for our family? Questions like the size of the dog, the color of the dog, the age of the dog. And one other really important question is we wanna know about the dog and what kind of family is right for the dog. So Kizby, Kizzy, <laughs> what you looking at? <laughs> So Kisby had to go into a family and that was super energetic because she had so much energy as a boxer puppy and we had to make sure she got outside a lot and that she played and had lots of opportunity to get rid of all that energy. And lots of different types of dogs have different types of energy because they all have their own personality. And so even today at 12 and a half years old, Kisby still plays Frisbee, not as much as she used to, but you like the Frisbee? Oops, you're gobbling from your cookie. <laughs> she still loves to play with her Frisbee, and yeah, maybe another time we'll be able to show Kisby playing Frisbee. Anyways, thank you for joining today. Hope you stay safe and have a really good day. Hey, Kizzy. Hi, Kizzy. You're a good girl. Yeah. You're a good girl.